Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn this simple infographic, how to make a Microsoft PowerPoint, just easy and simple steps, just using Microsoft icons. Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to uh, reduce the size and we'll keep it as a reference. So first of all, they have, we have two things to work on this part. One is working on the background, working, working on the grass. So the good thing is Microsoft itself has some 3D icons and 3D models. What you can do is just go to the insert option, 3D models, click on 3D models and type what you need. For example, I need grass. I will just click type this and I will see what options do I have. So I have different options over here. So the most relevant is over here. I'm just going to select this one and select insert. Okay, now once you see this grass is selected, the good thing about this grass is it is 3D modeled and you can easily rotate and remo uh, move it around so that you can see how does it looks like. So this is a 3D model in Microsoft PowerPoint, really interesting thing. What you can do is increase the size a little bit so that you can match the requirements that you need. So in this case, we need to be a little bit more bigger in size. So what we can do is simply copy it, Control C copy and paste. Again, Control Shift and then drag it again. So we have three set of icons over here. So now we are done with the down part. Now we are going to work on the background. So for this, go to the insert option. Okay, design option and format background. So now for this one, you can just click on gradient. And for gradient, you have different options over here. You can see which one you like. So in case, if I like uh, the gradient in like this one, like I want more blue on the top. So I will select this one. As you can see, it has more blue on the top. Now, if I want to increase and decrease the brightness of the blue or shade of the blue, I will just simply move this one here. Let's just delete the extra one and just keep this two. And you can see that the same image is created over here. And you can see the blue is more darker on the top and less dark in the bottom. Okay, so now let's move to the next part, which is this uh, the circle, uh, this cube kind of shape or like a, not a square, but a rounded square, you can say. So now let's say we are going to take this shape here, put it over here. Now for this one, we're going to give it a black outline and click over here. Once you are go, go here, then go to the line option, go to the line here, increase the brightness, increase the width of the line. It is black. The color is black, the line color and go to the solid fill and click on white. So now once you are done with the white fill, what you can do is you can select and copy this one over here like this undo and let's just increase a little bit more okay so it's it's over here right now uh i'm just going to remove some leave some space on the top so i can write the captions now what we need is we need to draw a line in in here and what we are going to do is so first of all i'm going to show you some tricks this small trick i'm going to show you which will help you a lot put this line over here this is not a line this is a rectangle actually i'll just decrease the thickness of this one copy this one and paste now simply rotate this one and I'm going to make something over here. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to select this one, this shape first, and then this one. And I'm going to go in merge shapes, which you can find over here. For example, if you double click here, you can have a shape format option. Go to shape format, control, select the second one, merge shape and fragments. Similarly, select this one and this one, merge shape and fragments. Okay, now you can see what happened. The shape is divided into two parts. I can easily remove this section from here, which is a small section in between. So now what you can see is you can see some small black lines. This is because this is the second. This is because uh, I have created a segment between them. OK, undo that and just going to remove the extra part, which I don't need and similarly remove this one. And now we can see that these are separate separate parts right now. So now what I'm going to do is one thing which was remaining is that this part didn't convert into uh, shape itself. So we're going to do this one again, select this one and this one, go to shape format and merge shape and fragments. Okay. Now this one is now a fragment. We're going to delete the unnecessary parts and we are going to simply see what is happening. I don't know why, what's the problem here. So let's just delete this one. We have two parts here in this one, copy and paste. And what you can do is first group them. Go to the arrange options, rotate, and you can just change them like this. Rotate them uh, vertically, okay? So now, uh, let's just join them together. And similarly, this one, uh, group, ungroup them, and make the spaces between them less, like this. 
and just say no line okay now similarly for this one say no line now we have two different shapes okay now we are going to try to make sure that they don't have a gap in between and similarly you're going to do like this one don't have a gap in between now we want these two uh for these two over here in a different color which is uh, dark blue what one thing we can do is we can add a gradient to these files but for this time we are going to go with a darker gradient as you can see over here we can have two different things but one thing you can do is go to shape format merge shapes and you can do a union so now they have a more natural color as you can see light color here and dark color here similarly we are going to do the same thing here remove the extra one and we are going just keep going to keep one thing so now we want to invert this a little bit we want to keep it like this and want to make sure the this part is a little bit darker and the top part is a little bit lighter or you can just go here choose uh, the one which feels more appropriate so let's go with this one okay now let's take a line and put a line in the middle so now this line should be a little bit more visible so what you can do is take a white color or just take a more of a light gray color and go down over here change the line type into a dotted ones or you can ch choose a, with a bigger gap so that they can easily be visible if not you can just increase the thickness they will be more visible easily once you're done with this one what you can do is go to insert again go to the 3d models again what you can do is search for plants now now if i go and search for plants they will have a different options over here so what i can do is i can choose most appropriate the most similar plant which i'm looking for so currently if i see that we don't have enough plants here uh what can we do choose this one or something that is more similar to that one or if you don't have what you can do is you can just simply draw these plants again so one way to draw these plants is for example if i want to draw this one there are there are multiple uh options for this one copy that and paste this here so if i want to draw this what i can do is i can just uh trace it out and i can use this as a picture okay so what i mean is i will go here like this i will make them uh, smaller like this and i will remove the background and then i will use that image as a reference so now this is the image that i have i will go to the remove background and then i will remove all the unnecessary part now you will see that all the things are already done so now we'll uh, do a slight changes and keep the areas that I want in my drawing. I will select this one. I will select this one and I will say, I don't want this bubble. So just remove this one. Okay. So once you do keep image, you see what happens. You get the perfect image that you need for your drawing. Now reduce the size over here. Repeat the same object on the other side. And what you are, what you have is a beautiful image that you need for your drawing. Now it looks like the image is a little bit too big what we can do is we can reduce the size a little bit and similarly we can just drag it down so that we have enough space okay what one thing you can do is click on the picture and go to the sharpen option and sharp them a little bit more so they, that they can have a more brighter color if you want to change the color make them uh you want to make them more saturated more uh bright color you can just click over here and you can see what's the difference so in the current form i I think this form looks much better so i'm not going to change anything out of it and now one thing we what we can do is we go to the shape options we click here we make a similar shape like this one we say this one has a black outline and it has no fail just because i want to give a black outline to this one so that's how i can uh make my uh purpose fulfill my purpose and i will increase the thickness and it will look somehow like this okay guys now what thing one thing which is left is these bubbles what you can do is go to insert option go to icon options and then you can find something which is called illustrations this is a new tab which microsoft has added and this is really a nice uh, feature that microsoft powerpoint has added in office 365 what had what it does is that it provides you a lot of options and a lot of illustrations really high quality everything is great and you can just use them uh, just the way you want so right now i'm just finding the exact thing that i i was looking for uh i i saw one before so i was thinking i can find that again so let me see if i can find that one if not then we can just manually create that so uh, actually what i'm looking for is some abstract backgrounds so which uh i can use as a circle so let's say we don't have okay we do have here everything is available in microsoft powerpoint so guys once you're done with this one what you can do is you can change its color and change it to dark blue like this okay so here you can see that you have the color but you don't have that thing which you are looking for 
So what you can do is click here and say convert to shape. So now once you convert to shape, you can easily select all of them. So now what you can do is select all of them like this, go to gradient fill and click over here and choose this option or choose this option a little bit lighter. Now give them a, a solid line, which is black. Let's see if they have a solid line or not a little bit. This go undo that, go to this option, go to shadow. If you need a shadow, you can add a shadow over here, but we don't need a shadow. I will just tell you what you can do is you can add a 3d format and you can just add a small B level to that. So if you add a B level, you can see what happens. Your shape has a natural color or natural shape that you are looking for. And in this way, what you can do is you can copy that and paste that one more time. You can put it over here somewhere like this, and you can just repeat this image over here. Now select all of them, reduce the size, bring them over here, go back and let's just adjust the size first. So this image is a little bit uh, too big for this one. So we can just reduce the size here and put that here, one here, and let's just reduce the size over here and bring it here and go to arrange options, rotate and flip horizontal. Now let's just bring this one to the, okay, before bringing that to the top, just select these ones, go here, options and, uh, Okay, just, okay, let me go back and we don't have a option for transparency here because this is not an image. We can find an option for transparency, but let me see if I can find or not. So let's say these shadows, we can add something like this. Okay, now let's just bring this one to the top. Okay, bring to the front like this and similarly bring to the front. One thing you can do is you can copy this one. Okay, because I cannot select this one because it's in the front. So select this one, this one, copy that and paste as an image. So once you paste it as an image, you can delete these ones. And what you can do is, okay, you can bring it over here. And now you can see this picture option here. Go here, picture transparency and reduce the transparency like this. So now what you can do is you can bring your flower back here and just delete this one and copy these two again. Control shift and drag it over here. Okay guys, so this part is done. As you can see that we are mostly done with the things that we need for our diagram. And we are going to just reduce its size over here, bring it a little bit down. Now we are going to work on the other part, which is the text part. So take a text, click here, culture in solution. And now go here, make it century, Gothic, my favorite style. Okay, so let's just increase the size over here, bring it over here, make it a little bit bold. And similarly, what we need is we need other two things. And if you want to do this part, it's easy and simple. No, not a big deal. Just put it over here. Okay. You once you put it over here, go to the shape option, color fill and like this and shape outline. You don't need an outline. What you can do is you can add a shadow to this one. Just go here and see how many shadows you can add to this one like this. And you can add a B level to this one. It will appear like something, uh, it, it is like extended version. Now you can see that you have this version over here. Go to this option shadows and you can increase or decrease the shadows that you want. And similarly, you can also change the way it looks. So for example, if you want it to look like this, it will somehow look like this. If you want to increase the curvature more, you can increase or decrease the curvature depending upon your style or how, however you like it. Okay. Now we are just going to work on this part, uh, text part, which is says, let me just zoom out a little bit so I can see what's written in the text part. So go here, root uh root growth stimulus so you don't want to see this one so i will just quickly write it down and show you guys or you guys just can stick with me and similarly you are going to write here phenolic and similarly we're going to go down and say starch plus starch and then let's say we just conclude with this one we don't uh, we don't use the next one so we are going to put it over here and we are going to click here and say that this is not bold Actually, so we are just going to put it here like this and let's just uh, add this one more, one more and just say plus SOD, okay, SOD and CAT and let's just write everything. Okay, so select all of these and go here, reduce this font a little bit, go to arrange, align to left and then put it over here. Once you are done with this one, you need to add a space here. That's why it wasn't looking that good. So now you can decrease the shape size because we don't need an extra size over here. Now you want to create this path really easy. What you can do is take an icon, take a triangle, rotate it. Okay. Increase it like this. Send it to the back. 
something like this okay or you can just select this one and bring it to the front so when you bring it to the front make sure that a triangle comes over here and then you can just point this one to the direction your uh, your graph should go change the color to which one green one no outline and then just reduce the transparency so that it looks like it's coming from there okay so guys this is one point and now i think you can you guys can do this part but i will do that for you and i will show you how you can do that now uh, you can have a lot of different options you can do uh, in microsoft so guys never underestimate the power of microsoft powerpoint so if i can do anything in microsoft powerpoint i think there are a lot of things that you can also try and see what you can do so let's just uh, change the design a little bit so i'm going to do like this and we just make it in a single line and put a space here so exogenous application and then one last thing is german uh, germination change germination so let's just uh, make this one a little bit bigger let's say that this is our heading germination uh okay germination Increase the size and let's make this one a little bit dark green so that we can find the color we are working with. Let's see if it looks good or not. Yes, it looks good. Now we are going to go with the change germination. Let's get change germination. Now select all, control A, decrease the size from this one and make it not do not make it bold and change this color to a little bit light black. Put it over here and then the last part comes. It is easy you can just simply go to shapes and take an arrow let's say we are going to take simple arrow not too complicated arrow so let's say okay let's take this arrow and okay just keep it simple uh, increase a bit so increase 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 now what you can do is change its color to dark green now let's just increase a little bit more now what you can do is go here add a endpoint now you can see endpoint is here but the arrow doesn't look too good you can increase like this and it's all done so what happens so a13 goes so go to the edit points and reduce the size of the point if you want to reduce okay so easy and so simple now let's see what's happening to that picture so let's just decrease a little bit down here and move it like this so that it doesn't show that it's going to that part and similarly a l plus three select this one okay one thing that is different in powerpoint and microsoft word is that you don't have an option for subscript here so instead you have to click here and go to say superscript here and you can just simply put it over here like this and now we need one circle so go to shape options take us take a circle and put it here make it a little bit bigger and we don't need an outline let's just give a light yellow color which they have given and now we just need al3 plus one more so they have one big circle and like this and copy and paste and they have one smaller circle with a little bit darker tone so we are going to do something like this we're not going to do much about it so let's just put it here and bring it to the front like this so it points over here and we are going to copy this one copy paste and we are going to put it over here select all go to home option reduce the size and guys let's just remove the extra part and guys let's go to the main screen and see how it looks like so guys here is your poster here is your graphical abstract we just made in a simple let's say how much time we just made it in 19 minutes from the scratch start to the scratch and if i didn't have to tell you guys i would have done it more quicker so guys i hope you like this uh, uh graphic abstract and i hope it helps and do try the 3D icons in Microsoft PowerPoint and let me know what you think about it. So guys, this is the final version of the graphic abstract. I hope you like this video. If you haven't watched my previous videos, do watch them. And if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe because I will be posting a lot of great content in my other coming videos. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.